in Maverick, Roy Huggins had a had a whole list, and he handed it. He uh, uh, I I did not do the pilot. I did the bulk of them the first year of Mavericks. Uh, Douglas Hayes and I did practically all of them the first year. Uh, and uh, Roy had a list of do's and don'ts. You know, he was a coward. <laughs> no, he, never, he, he was not. He was not a brave man. He was this and he was that and so forth. And he had a loss. That's Roy, very meticulous. You know, very famous, and, and certainly, certainly he had a share of hit shows. You know, uh, on the air. But uh, that was Roy, and, and you know, he was a coward, and he was this, he was that, and so forth and so on, and you would, you certainly heard to that, but he, he had already worked with Jimmy, you know, before we got out and knew exactly, you know, where, where, uh, uh, where we were going, I'm sure. And so when I stepped in, uh, uh, maybe in the second or third show, uh, you know, the character was already established. I ran both uh, the films, both films, and knew exactly where I was going. But then he couldn't carry the load. He was, there was only one. He could not carry the load. It's too much, uh, one a week, uh, one, one every, you know, right, right after another. And so that's when they introduced uh, Brother Bart, Jack Kelly, and I did his opening show. Uh, and subsequently they brought in um, Roger Moore uh, as Cousin Bo. And so, so some of the new characters came in, and Ephraim Zimbalist came in, and Richard Long, and there was, of course, Samantha, and there was a whole team, team of them. And uh, I directed one episode that won an Emmy. It's the only, I think, Western that ever won an Emmy. Roy Huggins uh, went up and accepted uh, you know, the uh, accepted for it. He was terribly surprised. He never thought it would win. But uh, it was a mon wonderful show, and he wrote the script. That was a Roy Huggins script. And it was a, a, about interesting. Jim Garner uh, made a big hit at a poker game, and it was late at night, and he saw a light on in a bank. And there's a banker there, a wonderful actor, John Dana who was in Roaring Twenties, and I directed, worked with him a number of times. And, uh, and Jimmy knocked on the door and gave him all his money for the night, and Dana gave him a ch chit. He was the, the uh, president of the bank. And the next morning, he went for his money, and, and Dana said, what are you trying to pull off here? I've never seen you. And he said, Jimmy showed him a chit. He said, forgery. Whatever. And now Jimmy leaves him and is determined that he is going to get that money back. And he sat on a hotel in Oraka and he hired the whole crew to come in. First of all, it was he, he called Jack, you know, Bart. And I always remember there's a line, he, and he introduced, and Bart came in, and his part was he was a wealthy uh, 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 banker himself. And he came in, and, and there's a dinner scene where he is now with Dana, and they're talking business and so forth, and he said, well, he's got a great big deal from him. And I can always remember John Dana leaning into him, some lines you never forget, and this, this, this thief leans in and just evilly says, after all, Bartley, if you can't trust your banker, whom can you trust? <laughs> and he's talking to, you know. And then they all came in. Dick Long came in, you know, Dandy Jim and Samantha, and they all went with great intrigue, you know, just slowly built up. And Roy, the townspeople, came in and, and say, well, you're getting your money back? I'm working on it, and he just sat on the porch and he whittled the whole picture, and that was it. And it was just a marvelous caper, caper. And uh, as you say, it's, as I say, it's the only western that uh, you know, you, you know, a director couldn't miss miss with that. So you know, that's. And uh, I know that uh, I always wanted to either win an Oscar or an Emmy, so I could thank my benefactors, you know, Roy and Dale. 
and Bob Walker. You know, uh, people say, how do you, uh, how do you get to be a director? I, I said, well, uh, somebody up there has to like you, and you have to uh, come in contact <laughs> with the right people. You know, as as, as I told you, and uh, and Roy was so stunned at getting it, he called me the next morning and he said, Leslie, I I was so stunned. You, I don't care if you never forgive me. I forgot to, you know, thank you as the director of the film. And I said, Oh. Don't give it a thought, Roy. And, but that's another little backstory. But uh, uh, that was it. Uh, as I say, another another story about it. But uh, it, it it was really a fun show, and we all and we shot most of it on the back lot. And at one time, there were four companies shooting there. There was a Bronco shooting, and a and 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 a lawman. And the, just you could almost you were overlapping each other uh, on that back lot. With, with all that going.